Let's but, talk about Vine 2. So, mm-hmm. so we don't know what Vine 2 is going to be, uh, but we do know something is coming. It's probably going to be similar to Vine. So if you are a church leader and you hear something is coming, I think, I think you, ha- you have a couple of options here. Uh, you can do what most people are going to do and just say, you know what, let's see what happens. You know, I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. I'll maybe, you know, look for articles when it comes out and maybe I'll even download it when it comes out and see what other people do. Or you can kind of be one of those early adopters and jump in and say, you know what, we're going to try to make, make a splash here on this new app. And, and maybe, you know, maybe there's going to be a land grab and getting there early. Um, and so, you know, there's, there's a lot of value in getting there early. I think about with online church, we, we grew to a hundred thousand, our Facebook page in the first six months. This, and then in about 40% of people that liked our page, saw our content because that was early days of Facebook. We got in early. Um, I saw the same thing with Twitter, you know, when getting in early, uh, you know, really helps kind of build that traction. If you go all in pretty quickly. And then if you sit and wait on some others, you can just feel like you're constantly playing catch up. Uh, yet at the same time you go in early, like I remember with peach peach came around. I was like, Oh, I got to figure this thing out. And then it was gone by the time I even halfway figured it out. And so this is that you can waste a lot of time doing this, or you can maybe catch traction. Nick, I would love to hear how you would process for church leaders. How would you, how would you navigate this potential new development? This is where I always feel like I, I really feel inadequate. It's um, cause you, we can sit and have this conversation and I'm going to default to, Oh, you know, you have to add something that's valuable. And, you know, uh, but like oftentimes a lot of this stuff to just gain an audience and some exposure, um, is completely out of left field. (laughs) You know what I mean? (laughs) It's like gummy money videos or fail videos and all that. So what's, what are you saying? Nils? like a church should jump on and just start posting fail videos. Like, Oh, look, Maybe. this kid dropped the, the communion plate as we're passing it, you know, juices everywhere. So. Maybe. I think, honestly, <laughs> I think, so I think there's a couple of things. I think we do know, here's what, here's what went viral before, you know, mm-hmm. so here, here were some of the viral nature of, uh, of Vine. Um, I think you can almost say, you know, we're, we're not looking to go viral. We're looking to build an audience that's kind of native to who we are. Um, but we want to, capture a new audience that might be more attentive where there's less content competing Mm -hmm. their content. So we want to kind of build that quickly. Um, I, so I'll tell you what I would like to do, you know, Mm, uh, and, and where I want, would like to see some ministries, uh, get creative. You know, I, I have a feeling it's going to be very similar to the old vine. Uh, and I would almost assume it's going to be identical and then adjust from there. And so if you under know it's going to be kind of these six second videos, yeah. then start pull together the most creative three, of the most creative people you can at your church and just say, what can, what, what, what should we create mm-hmm. over the next month? Assuming it's right. going to be a month. 